Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be kind of a mixed bag of a video that's going to be talking all about health, wellness, skin care things um, from this spring leading into summer. I have just had like one thing after the next. I got food poisoning. I got uh, a cold. I've had crazy, terrible allergies this year. Apparently this is like on record to be one of the worst years for uh, pollen and allergies ever, thanks to thanks to climate change. And then um, from like just like immune system being down from being sick and all of these different things, I have dealt with some various like skin issues that um, from actually since moving my husband and I, we've been mulching our yard and uh, there's a nice little um, fungus that lives in there and I got some nice little fungus skin infections. Luckily, my fungal breakouts have not been on my face. They've been like on the body as well as just like skin rashes. And then also when I get sick, my skin takes a beating. So I'm gonna be talking about a huge range of things. Probably gonna be a long video, very rambly. Several of the things I will be talking about have been gifted to me um, from actually a few different brands, but this isn't a sponsored video or anything. Um, these are just things that I have been using and helping me. I'm actually going to start out um, talking about some more like wellness related stuff. Since um, I, I was, I got really sick there and uh, that just like kind of weakened my immune system. So I have been taking different like herbs and supplements as well as just like some regular like pharmacy stuff to help with both my immune system as well as allergies. So of course I, I've been taking Claritin and things like that. But um, I have been taking a couple of different herbs lately and supplements. Like I have been taking probiotics. This is, um, this is, oop, every video I drop something. Um, this is a probiotic from Trader Joe's. I just picked this up when I went grocery shopping recently. I need to actually go and get the more expensive. There's like this really strong one that I like from, uh, I buy when I go to Whole Foods, but um, I've been using this one for now um, just to replace the fact that I haven't gone and spent a crazy amount of money. This is just like the most layman's condensed thing, but one of the things to help if you're dealing with any kind of like fungal breakouts or infections is um, you want to get like the good, the good bacteria back in your body to help fight off those things. So I've been doing, taking that. And then I've also been taking turmeric. Turmeric is really good for inflammation. So I've been taking this a lot. And then I've been experimenting with taking Pau Darko. This is one of the herbs that supposedly is really great for fighting any fungal infections. Now, the stuff that I have read about it is more like in the herbal medicine realm. And there hasn't been done too many like scientific studies um, on this there's only a couple so I'm just kind of like dipping my toe into using it but so far like I've just I've been on the uphill lately some of the things did say that like you got to be careful not to take too much because of toxicity but um, anyways those are some things that I've been utilizing I have been both doing some things like topically like I have had my antifungal creams as well as um, I have been using this guy this is the Nizerol shampoo it's the anti-dandruff shampoo a lot of dandruff is caused by like uh yeast overgrowth or fungal or stuff like that since i was a kid i get like i can get stuff uh going on in my scalp so this is something that i'll do as a treatment uh every now and then in general where i'll use it on my scalp and then i'll also do like a full body wash if i'm like beginning to get like fungal breakouts and then when i used to get fungal breakouts on my face i would wash my face with this as well it's it can be pretty strong but when um i get sick i get more prone to getting like sores on my scalp and breakouts and things like that so i've been upping using this uh, as well as using this a little bit more frequently this is the dp hue apple cider vinegar hair rinse this line is actually more like marketed as dealing with like helping with color treated hair and not fade i don't have any dye in my hair anymore at this point but i do like using this just for like the health of my scalp um it's a nice alternative to doing like a full shampoo and conditioner for my hair um just like a one kind of one and done thing that I um, I've been doing 
a couple of times a week lately while in the healing process. So those guys have been super duper great. And then also in terms of allergies, I have been using uh, an air filter. Now, this is one of the things that was gifted to me. This is from Lavoit, and they sent me like their newer air filter. I know this seems like kind of strange to be talking about an air filter, but when I got an email from them, I thought it was from Amazon because I already own one of their air filters. Uh, at my old apartment, um, my husband and I, we were on the second floor, kind of near a busy street, and we didn't have screens on our windows. So we just were getting constant car pollution, pollen, dust in, um, uh, and you know, we like to sleep with the window open. So uh, we made like a, a, my husband made like a makeshift like screen with like this really thin, uh, screen to filter which was really great as well as he did like a bunch of research and ended up buying one of their air filters so i know of two of them which is pretty great at our house now we're not as in such like we're not as near the freeway as we used to be and the road that we're by isn't as busy but the po like the pollen has been so insane i have never had such bad allergies there's like a 300 million times more trees uh, in Pasadena than in central Los Angeles, which is beautiful. And there's so much green and stuff, but that is just like made me so puffy and feeling awful. So I'm really happy to have two of these now. So they sent me their new one, which is the Vista 200 True HEPA Air Purifier. Like it has a few different stages for filtering out like different larger particles. And we do have two dogs now as well. So it's been really great for like different airborne stuff and this one is like a lot less heavy a lot less heavy it's a lot lighter than the other version and it is so much more quiet um this one has like yeah this one has three settings for the like intensity of the filter like that other one did but the night mode for this one is like a silent purr it is so quiet. Oh yeah, and it has like the different two hour, four hour, eight hour like timer thing to turn on and off. So um, that's been great. So I'm not like leaving it on all night and it's pretty energy efficient. So I've been having the new one in our bedroom to help with that because that's more towards the front of the house. And then towards the back of the house, I got the older one. Um, and that helps because the back of the house is where the dogs like to hang out and it smells like dogs. So that has been helping. So the rest of the video, I'm going to be talking about topical skincare things that have been helping me. My skin gets really dull and congested and just sad <laughs> when I'm sick. I've been really focusing on healing, brightening, protecting, calming. I have been using several different vitamin C's. Vitamin C just in general is supposed to help with like being, you know, free radical fighting damaging, collagen boosting, brightening, helping evening the skin tone, um, anti-aging, and it's just one of those like tried and true type of ingredients for me that I always go back to when I like wanna make my skin look better. I've been pairing uh, a couple of things with those. I have been putting on, I've been kind of alternating these guys, the Amora Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. I actually had one of these about a year ago and really, really loved it. And I got gifted another one from them via Octoly. So that was really exciting because this is stupidly expensive, um, but I really like it. So uh, I'm really excited to have it again. This is a fermented green tea. So this is something I've just been using on my face because using fermented things potentially on areas where you have potential fungal stuff can um, uh, not be that helpful. Um, so I've just been using this on my face. It's very light. Um, it's green tea. Green tea and my skin get along so well. It's a great antioxidant. It's been very healing and soothing, and it feels like nothing. So it's been great to, to layer with because it's been very focused for me is layers. So I'll do maybe like a couple paddings of this. Um, and then I've also been really loving this from The Ordinary. This is the Resivertal 3% and the Fluoraic Acid 3%. 
man, those were tongue twisters for me. So both of these antioxidants are supposed to be very helpful in protecting against any like UV free radical damage, as well as just being very like rejuvenating. Resveratrol, that's one of the things that um, Quotally kind of like markets towards it's an antioxidant that's found a lot in like the skin of wine um, The skin of wine the skin of grapes. So both of these are some of the like like top-notch an antioxidants, especially ferulaic fluor acid. I need a sip of water. I can't say anything um, I've got my Gus fried chicken cup here Fantastic fried chicken. I was about to say if you're in LA go but you might have one in your own backyard. So this is like a really liquidy formula. Um, so this also has been really great to layer with. So I have been pairing one of those guys with the various vitamin C's that I've been using. So it's one of those things I've read about antioxidants that it's like the whole like strength and numbers kind of things that um, they're stronger together. So I've been definitely like layering those, um, especially during the day under my sunscreen. So I've been bouncing between a few vitamin C serums. Uh, these are the three. So if, um, actually several of these products coming up, if you are subscribed to either uh, Box Swallow or Beauty Heroes, you might be familiar with. So this one, this is from a few boxes back from uh, Beauty Heroes, and it's the Blue Alchemy Multi-C serum the brightening boost now this has vitamin c from a few different places it has it from the kakuta plum it has ascorbyl palmate esters it has the kangaroo paw extract the kangaroo paw flower which also has ferlaic acid in it and it's like a humectant it's got quite a lot of very like vitamin rich ingredients that help with kind of like anti-aging and protecting the skin rejuvenating so it's got prickly pear uh, it also has, I believe it has rosehip seed in it, as well as CoQ10, it's got sea buckthorn. So this whole formula um, is very, very much geared towards brightening and firming. It says plump and protect on here, and, and yes, it definitely does that. It has a really, really nice silky formula. It's got that really bright, vibrant, orangey color, and it just really, really melts into the skin. It's a very easy one to use it doesn't like layer weird it's a very very nice texture so i've loved using that and it has a great scent another one that i have been really into using this is the siam c's Sci clear skin serum now this one has vitamin c in it and it's really geared towards breakouts i was getting quite a few breakouts along here some of them were hormonal some of them were just from being sick and then a bunch of them were from me like just like resting at my computer in one way or another with my hand on my face and then i broke out so i've been using this to help with those. So the vitamin C in this is ascorbyl phosphate, and I believe the base of it is a rice water. It has this really great mix of ingredients to help the healing process of breakouts and help pre prevent as well as like help deal with any sort of like scarring and pigmentation. So this has been super helpful in that regard for me. It does have ceramides in it as well as neem. This formula, uh, is a little bit tricky, I could see being for some people. It has a very kind of granular texture, so it's best applied onto a uh, kind of like a dampened surface, dampened surface, you know, get your skin a, a little bit damp and then kind of warm it up first, maybe a little bit between your hands and then work it onto the skin and the granular feel of it will dissipate. And the smell of this is amazing, it's like, Mm, it's like expensive incense. It's like smoky and a little bit spicy. It's quite nice. And then lastly, vitamin C wise, I have been using the Dr. Loretta Anti-Aging Repair Serum. This has 3% vitamin C. Now this is the vitamin C that it's like the THD. I remember Gothamista when she did her whole uh, vitamin C video several years, maybe a year ago back, she talked about that ingredient and it's kind of like one of like the new kind of like hot rod almost kind of ingredients that I feel like people were talking about in terms of vitamin C because of its various claims. So the whole Dr. Loretta line is very much geared towards protection and pollution and dealing with any kind of damages that you're gonna get from, from those. It's all about repairing 
protecting really the skin, which has been whole my like theme <laughs> lately. So in addition to the vitamin C, this has a couple other kind of like key like noted ingredients. It has the organic lilac stem cells, which are supposed to be like oil controlling. And it also is supposed to help with like collagen boosting. And then it also has some uh, different uh, marine extracts that are supposed to help with boosting hydration as well as collagen. This formula is definitely way creamier and it's got one of those like droppers that is a little bit difficult to use. So they really, they really should put this in a pump format that would be a lot easier, but it's a more milky formula. I definitely do not too many layers on my skin when it's really hot. I'll do something like like one of like my toners and then this and then like a, an oil that I'm actually gonna talk about here soon over top of it and that's enough because this is actually quite creamy and does a good job of moisturizing. It's been like kind of like a daytime used product. And then lastly, I wanted to talk about this month or the coming months box for Boxwalla. This is from Fivena. This is a new brand to me and this is their summer Lucent Duo. So the whole brand seems to do their uh, products kind of seasonally. So this has been really cool, uh, great to work into my routine over I'd say like the last three weeks. It is like the newest thing out of all of these skincare things that I have been introducing to my skin. I've been using this oil both day and night, but a lot during the day. It's a Camila base and it's very, I guess kind of like clarifying and like sebum controlling. So that has also been really nice when it's like been hotter or muggier. It's very moisturizing, so I don't need too many drops of it, but it's not like heavy. It has rose hip in it as well. And it has a bunch of different, very like calming, uh, anti-inflammatory related ingredients in it. So this has been like a great kind of cap offer in terms of, of products for my skin. And then the Hydrolat just is, feels really nice. It has, both of these actually have a really nice, interesting scent to them. So I've been using this like as like a little refresher. It's like aloe based and it does have like a little bit of witch hazel and uh, peppermint in it as well. Both of these do have, I believe, aptogens in them. Uh, it's got, I think both of these have snow mushroom, which is like another one of those like trending ingredients I've been seeing a lot lately. I had several more kind of products I wanted to talk about, but I'm realizing how long this video is and um, I wanna make it a little bit more digestible. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it helped you if you're dealing with any of these crazy ass issues that I have. And if you have been using anything that's like helped calm your skin, um, whether it's something like in your skincare routine topically or something wellness health related for like, like me who's been dealing with various fungal things and then dermatitis. I'd love to know what some of the things that help you and uh, maybe I'll look into them and they'll help me. Very selfish uh, outro on my part. Um